The Fundamental Physics Prize aims to give the finest minds on the planet both recognition for their achievements and the financial freedom to keep thinking. Along the way, we want to inspire the public with mind-bending ideas of physics. You can think of it as being like the Oscars. Only this time, you're in the presence of some of the greatest minds on the planet. <laughs> what we are witnessing here in these recognitions and celebrations and awards is a recognition of science like the Nobel Prize, but also an appreciation that the men and women of science are as important as the men and women who play in the World Cup or who win Oscars, who do things that make a contribution to the world that we live in. The winner of the Fundamental Physics Prize for 2013 in this branch of the universe is Alexander Polyakov. It's an immense honor and uh, I really bewildered, overwhelmed uh, by this prize. Stephen Hawking's passion for science is indestructible. And it is for this that we celebrate him tonight. I feel a sense of achievement that I have managed to make these contributions despite having ALS. My motto is there are no boundaries. And it is also good for the society when fundamental science, fundamental progress, intellectual achievements are appreciated. And for that, we are very grateful. Physics goals of particle physics require the, uh, the development of uh, innovative technologies in many fields, from instrumentation to cryogenics to uh, electronics, data treatment, etc., which are then, of course, very useful also for society. We are in living in an information society, and uh, physicists or fundamental physics contributed to, to its very foundation more than 60 years ago. So maybe the fundamental physics can contribute again uh, to back to the information uh, technology and information and society. The discovery of the Higgs boson leaves open many mysteries. We need you. Physics need you. Need a new generation of scientists that have done so well in this discovery and we count on them to face the new challenges.